I feel like the younger generations aren't gonna have any appreciation for hot rods. They're gonna assume it's whoever has the most money gets to own a hot rod and not to actually put the work into it themselves. And maybe because hot rods have gotten expensive, but that's because they're paying people like me to do it. I have so many friends that have these projects in their garage. They've been working on for 10 years. And you start to see that there's so many people out there that have the ability, just don't have the space or they don't have the equipment. I had to figure out some way to be financially responsible in helping them out. I thought that this would be a really cool environment to get all these people together and they can help each other, use the right equipment, they can have the tools, they can have an escape from their home and build cool cars. I guess my goal for the doghouse would be to maybe start a trend where these community garages develop all over the country. You know, it used to be guys would go to the junkyard and they would find parts that would work and they would take their daily driver and they would chop it up and they'd put these junkyard parts on it and that was hot rodding. It's kind of degressed from that and it's become where you just buy something out of a catalog and you bolt it on to what you already have. There's no culture in it. Like It's got so far away from its roots. Maybe the doghouse can be that middle ground where the guy who can't afford to spend six figures on getting a car built can with a little help from everybody else end up with a suitable result and pass on a tradition. <laughs>